these are just boots I picked up at a local thrift store or whatever you want to call it, used store. Just paid seven bucks for these boots. The costume is made of fiberglass. Bondo. I use the peppercorn method. And I have this to where it just wraps around like so. And it usually covers the laces pretty good. And then it velcros in place. This side is glued in so it stays. So it's not going to be falling off the foot if you decide to go for a late night jog or something. Alright. Nice, good and tight. Bring this up to the top. Just like that. They're actually really comfortable boots. These are kind of like, when I picked them up, they kind of looked like uh, combat boots or something. Especially since they're black, and these here kind of help keep the calf in place when you put it on. Now I have the calf in two pieces. I usually put the back on first, just like so. And the front, it's on. Now. Admittedly, these are the most difficult pieces usually to put on out of the entire costume. Uh, mainly because you're just so flexible in this area and it's hard to get these to stay the way you want them. Alright. Get the... push the, uh... bill curl into place. Make sure it's tight. Sometimes it takes a little effort. I did this. How's that look, Ben? Does that look good? Yeah. And there's one. Alright. Here's the other one. You can see the blood detail I did on the armor. I thought that was kind of interesting. I haven't seen that at all. For the uh, covenant blood that splattered all over it. I just used cheap nail polish. <laughs> and it looks pretty good, I think. I liked it a lot. Kind of separates my armor from everyone else's that you see on the internet. 105th. I decided my Master Chief is a an aggressive one. He doesn't mind getting a little messy. I get it really tight. Like <clears throat> Looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, I think so too. been a month since I put this on and I've only worn it once. I wore it for Halo 4. So I'm trying to remember if I just go all the way up with it or what. But I think I was I managed to do it like this. Yeah I did. Alright there we go. And this armor here is held together mainly with the Velcro strips. Two on the inside and the two that lap over here. Oh before we As you can see it holds pretty good. I have to fight with it. I actually have LED detail there on the thighs and on the biceps, on the helmet as well. Just get a good pinch tight. Make sure it's going to stay. There's one leg. How's that look? Looks good. on wrong. But, you know, hopefully looks alright for the party. Alright. Same. Same 
comes the light. Same process on this side. Just to open it's hinged. Make sure you get everything aligned, not high enough. It does kind of try to cut you. That's because I have it so heavy duty. I don't want it going anywhere. And then, let's see. That's then the easy, next easiest thing to do. We got our space space diaper. There's some of that Covenant blood. Um, that's two different shades of purple. On other parts of the armor, as you can see, there's there's blue. Those right, goes right there. It's on just really nice. And then it has, once I have it to where it clips on right there, and it keeps the calf in place. Same thing on this side. I don't know, can you see that, Ben? Yeah, a little bit. It blends in quite a bit, but. Does it? Alright. Make sure I got this going right. Oh man. So oh the, man. Uh, the bottom half. Work it, work it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess we can do the. Can't remember what's easier to throw on first. The. Uh, I guess this here is the next piece. The mid body section. Uh, it is easier the way I did this to have someone help you put it on, but <laughs> I can figure out how to. Never put it on by myself before. fastened it all so to fasten it I'm gonna have Ben put the camera down he's gonna fasten it up and then we'll show it once it's fastened up. So you probably just set it on the wall. Thanks Ben. Now the fastening again it's just Velcro and then those clips. And for the clips I actually just used a dog collar. Cut it up a little bit and gorilla Does glued it, it down curl? up here in the top, and then there's metal clips. Oh, this one's already clipped it. on this side. Yeah, that one. That's this side. And there's something else I need to hold up here. Oh. <laughs> if you can't get it, that's fine. Sean's good at it. side. Yeah. This side should probably be easier, I'd assume. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so there's the chest. The back piece. Now for the biceps. Now, yeah, this is where I wish we had a third person so I can get him to help me because mobility is a little limited once you start throwing the stuff on. Could we have you set it down again because I'm not going to be able to pull this up. Thanks, man. Yeah, I hope you guys can see on the camera. <laughs> Maybe right. We're just gambling here that you're going to see what we're doing. Push it all the way up, buddy, as far as you can. Don't worry about the strap yet. Keeps going. Perfect. All right, there's one bicep. Needs to rotate toward you just a little bit. There you go. Perfect. You can uh, clip it now. 
Okay. It doesn't need to rotate more. That's good. Okay. All right, grab the other bicep. Same thing. Now, I'm going to trim away from the, the actual chest a little bit so I don't have that problem with lifting my arm as much. Right. It looks pretty cool, though. You're putting it on upside down. So you worked on this a little more last night, huh, Ross? I'll just... So this is definitely uh, was not cheap and was not. It's good. Wrap. No, no, no. You got it right. I don't know what you're doing. No, you just need to strap it. Well, it won't strap. It's too short to fit around your muscular muscles. Maybe I should stop benching, <laughs> doing curls. Yes. Just need to fit you. Just try not to pinch my arm if you can. If you push it toward my arm. I'm sure this isn't gonna like cut off the blood circulation. <laughs> it's not home. But when you pinch my arm like you did, it hurts. I'm oh, sorry. Is it pinch? Oh. Still? No, it's not now. Is it going to like tear Okay. It? Let's make sure we got it on. Okay, grab the forearms. All right. Oh. Except we forgot to turn the arm on, but I can have him do that. Can you, you see the blue in there? There's a little black switch. You won't be able to see it. Just feel for it. Really little. It's on the blue. Mm-hmm. It's on the side. It's a light on? I was able to see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and grab the other one. So Jesus is Christ, man. Ross is actually wearing this tonight because this is what he thought he wanted to wear at the it, world. It's December day. 21st, so I decided I better get out and save the world, right? Right? You with me on this? So here we are. Alright, and then push this one up and tighten up. Same on the side because you managed to tuck it in. It has these little loops for the thumbs, but they're uncomfortable. So, we'll... all right, perfect. You, you don't have to get over dramatic yeah. with it. And of course the. Hand pieces. Oh, Good thing. Put the helmet on, yeah. Then, flex to block the light. Look at that detail, man. It is the artist, Ross Gregerson. Master Chief. Here. He's ready to battle. Alright. So this is my Mark V. Is it Mark V? Armor? Yes. Yep. And Halo 3. Alright, 
I think this concludes our video.